welcome to episode one of maybe weekly updates on things that have been going on. Um, chances are I'll probably forget to do one next week, and then in six weeks I'll remember going, oh, I was going to do weekly updates. But anyway, turns out trying to do work on multiple cars, uh, and when you're not entirely sure of how the plan's going to go, and film it, and edit it, and make videos of doing that is actually really, really hard to do. So I'm just going to do a recap of all the stuff I've been doing, um, and then hopefully that's cool too, and people will go, oh, look what you've been doing. Starting with a winch, because obviously, as you know, I'm a big truck guy now, and winches are necessary for being trucky man. I wanted to make a really nice one tucked away behind the bumper, um, so I spent £400 on a winch and then completely cannibalised it, and um, luckily I was able to make it work. So, well, I've got to test it, but so far, so good. So, it fits behind the bumper, as you can see, got a little cutout for the um, spooly thingy. There's a little bracket down here. So you plug the, the remote in. It's got a wireless remote, but then the wired one can plug in there if I need to. Um, and I'm really happy with that little, nice little touch. So, yeah, pull the bumper off and I'll show you. Right. Welded onto brackets to the chassis legs here. Um, I made this bracket out of some 10 little plate that I had. I had to cut away the support for the radiator as well to be able to push this and fit it behind the bumper. Um, also, there was a big control box on top of here uh, with, the, with this plug up here, but obviously I didn't want to just cut a big hole in the grill. So I took it off, made these battery cables, moved it all over there, um, and then I made this little bracket of aluminium, and um, it just looked really, well, I think it looks lovely. And uh, yeah, so it's all tucked away nice and neatly, and then when the bumper's on, you can't see it, but you can still get to all of the things that you need to do. The only thing that I'm apprehensive about is obviously it's mounted to the chassis here but the pulling force is going to be here so there's going to be a bit of twisting twistinginess so well, that'll see how strong those are but we'll find out one way or another get the winch checked before uh, trying to actually need to use it and find out it just tears the front of the truck off so um, give it a pull out and I'm just going to hitch onto Ned's truck up there and just see if it'll at least winch my truck up there and then yeah, if the front of the truck stays on, then should be all right. We're just having a quick length check. What better place to check lengths than in the middle of nowhere, right? Yeah, just two blokes checking lengths. <laughs> success I suppose. to this spot that I've been looking forward to doing for ages um, and I thought now I've got a winch we're gonna have a, gonna have a play uh, and it's actually still massively underwater and 
some of the paths down there I'm pretty sure I could get through but if I did get stuck obviously I can winch myself out that's no problem but then by the time I was out the truck would be full of muddy water so I thought I would give it a miss and then I turned around and Nathan got stuck over here <laughs> and then I was watching me well we were in the car deciding what to do and I was like okay well whatever we'll go get Nathan out first and then I went to reverse and I was stuck as well so obviously just winched myself out and then now we've got to winch Nathan out and then we'll see if there's any daylight left to do anything after that. But at least the winch has stayed on, so that's good. Because that was the big worry of, will it just pull the chassis legs off? Not yet. <laughs> Loads of help. Also, obviously, eBay snorkel um, is, you know what that does, but that's quite handy for going underwater, especially in the floods. I did, uh, did big standard stereotypical truck guy things and start driving around the floods and towing cars out, so that was fun. Also, CB radio, where it's starting to get quite sweaty now. But these are actually really good in Wales because um, I don't actually know how Welsh people contact each other because when we were there, not a single bit of phone service for like three days, which is quite nice in a way, but yeah, quite annoying. So trying to speak to people in other vehicles um, was made very easy by this job. And then, obviously, aerial with the CB radio is done. So... The module is mounted down there, so that's where the ashtray used to be. So it just slides in like that, and uh, all the stuff is behind there. And then it did come with a big bulky speaker, like a big rectangular thing. There's just nowhere that I could think of to put it where it didn't look like just annoying. So what I did is I got really overcomplicated with it. And if you look in the back, so then I took the speaker apart, 3D printed this housing to attach it to, because uh, this is where the rear couple older goes and that was broken and also fuck passengers so yeah put it in there looks kind of OEM it looks very different obviously to this but it's much better than having a big bulky thing sticking out just glued to the dash so the wire runs under there and it's all very very nice so that obviously plugs into there when you're using it um, and then yeah just stuck a little metal thing on and use my phone holder for the for that save me having another mount stuck somewhere in the car so all in all, it's very superb. This is another thing I did. So after a bit of trucking and ramming the uh, hitch into the dirt all the time, it snapped off the trailer thingy and it was really annoying. So what I've done is I've done a removable hitch, uh, but with the electrics on there, so that when I remove the hitch, I remove that as well. So that stays safe. And then just got a little plug there for when I want to use it. Um, and then it just, there we go. Lovely stuff. So yeah, that wraps up for the truck I think. I've got more plans for it, um, but I'll wait till they're kind of more in motion and then maybe that'll be next week or the week after or whenever I remember to do another one of these. Destroy.